Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk through the differences between the Neo 2 and a traditional speed light. One of the most obvious differences between Neo 2 compared to a traditional speed light is the lack of recycle time. Typically with a speed light you're going to have a recycle time of somewhere between 2 to 4 seconds. Now with the modern camera generation it's very possible to get a camera such as the Sony a6300 which can shoot 10 or 11 frames a second. Therefore in 2 or 3 seconds I could shoot 33 photographs and my flash would have fired once. With the Rotolite Neo 2 it will fire every single time, meaning you never miss a shot. And There's no other light in the world that can do that. Specifically, Rotolite Neo 2 will fire with no recycle time and is high speed sync up to 1 8000th of a second. The other major advantage with Rotolite Neo 2 compared to a traditional speed light is that you can adjust the colour of the flash and of the continuous light. There is no other flash in the entire world where you can electronically adjust the colour of the flash. I can simply set on the back of my Neo any colour temperature between 31 and 50 Kelvin, which is tungsten, ideal for kind of warm sunset situations, all the way up to 6300 Kelvin for cool overcast conditions. And the Neo 2 will tell me the exact colour temperature in K on the back of the light. So I can dial a custom white balance into my camera and ensure that the photograph looks fantastic, that the skin tone is the right colour, and it eliminates time that I would otherwise have to spend in post-production in Lightroom or Photoshop trying to correct my colour afterwards. The other big advantage is that Neo 2 is both a continuous LED light as well as a high-speed sync flash. The advantage of continuous light allows me to shoot what I see. Simply I can compose my shot, I can see in my viewfinder what I'm going to get, and that's how it's going to look as an end result. By being able to flip into flash mode, when I'm in situations where I need more power, I have that option with the Neo. If I shoot video, of course I can't use a flash to shoot video, so this eliminates the need for me to buy two separate products. One of the main problems you often come up against as a photographer when you're shooting with a speed light is the lack of ability to focus. If you're shooting in a dimly lit environment like we are here today, if I was shooting only with a speed light, it would be very difficult for me to set my focus and my composition. Some speed lights include modelling lights, but they're never the same uh, light output that you're going to get from the final flash. It's not the same bulb, it's not the same colour temperature, and it has a different beam angle of light, so the shadows and the highlights are not the same. With the Rotolite Neo 2, it's exactly the same bulb that's giving me the continuous light output as it is the flashes. I have the full power of the continuous light output available to me before I flash, so I can correctly compose my model, set my focus of composition, and I'm ready to shoot, and that is a massive advantage. Neo 2 also has a real advantage when it comes to battery performance versus a traditional speed light. Specifically, a speed light would last for around 250 full power flashes before it's completely exhausted. In comparison, the Neo 2 would last for 85,000 full power flashes, whilst also giving a considerably brighter continuous light output if a speed light even could give you a modeling light. One of the most fundamental things though is the actual light quality of a Neo 2 compared to a speed light. Masters of light like Jason Lear will tell you that the light quality is significantly softer versus a speed light. That's both because the surface area is considerably larger than the single lighting element in a flash, but also because of the round nature and the wide beam angle that each of the LEDs has means the light creates a very soft wrapping quality of light. And by being circular, instead of rectangular with the traditional speed light, I get a gorgeous circular catch light in the subject's eye. That's really important. Also, if I'm ever shooting with a camera in a horizontal or vertical position, a speed light only looks good horizontally. If you try and flip that camera vertically, it looks awful. You'll get hot spots and fall off of the light quality. The Neo 2 can be at any rotation on any camera and it's going to look fantastic. Because of the brightness of the continuous light output, the subject is also able to get used to the light, meaning you get no red eye, blink responses, and it makes it ideal for subjects like babies and wildlife photography also. 